Okay, thank you. You know, neighbors in that area, they are, of course, devastated by this loss. And you know, they're very familiar with these kids. And they describe the family as friendly. And of course, they never in a million things like this would happen. And of course, they really feel for that mother and what she may be going through right now. Our Myra Sanchuk live at that fire scene as well tonight. Hi, Myra. Yeah, hi. I did talk to some family members of the mother and the kids who live here, and they didn't want to go on camera. They said there's just too much to do right now, too many people and relatives gathering to deal with this tragedy. I just wish I would have been walking through the alley and I seen it. I could have did something. William Heron cuts through the yard of the house that burned to go to work at a business behind it. He'd often chat with the new family who would wave at neighbors they had yet to meet. A young mother of four lived in the house with an infant and three older children. Police say two four-year-old twin boys and a five-year-old girl died in the fire. The mom and baby were not at home. I can't imagine how she feels, you know, with all that going on, leaving her kids, and now she could be facing, you know, jail time or lose the other child. Heron says another worker talked to that young mother not long before the fire broke out. I guess one of the employees back there was on a smoke break and he talked to her at 5 o'clock and she was leaving out. And then I heard that she left the kids with her sister. So what happened? All I know is they're gone now and nobody was there to help them. Others are shocked by the loss of children. We've been here almost 30 years and so we know a lot of the people. And it's so sad to see anybody with kids. You know, it's hard. It really is. And that, so it's that's why we're just trying to make sense of it too. And I know it might be a while before anybody makes any sense of anything. They're really happy kids, really happy kids. Well, just hi, I was playing around with them. Just hi, I was going, no way, man. And they go, no way, man. And you know, just funning around. Now, another neighbor told me that she came out to the scene to see what was going on last night. She did meet up with some relatives, some family members. They all hugged and prayed. Reporting live in West Allis, Myra Sanchuk, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Myra. Well,